Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Praetorian. And Jinx here. And welcome back to Disco Elysium on the PlayStation 4 Pro. Now, let's go and jump into today's episode. And I think the first thing we should do is look at our objectives here. Because I think we should complete some of these. Like, for instance, maybe drinking the booze. Yeah. Or smoking the cigarettes. Because you can get a lot of experience for doing these. Uh, it does cost. Well, the one problem with the uh, the booze though is it costs a morality point, but we can just heal right back up. Uh, so I think that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do both of those for the experience so that we can level up, make our character more powerful, uh, because it's a video game, and that's what you do <laughs> in video games. We don't have drink cigarettes yet. Get more powerful. So yeah, we're gonna have to drink the Commodore Red that we had gotten from from Garth. Uh, so let's go and drink that. Well. Hello. Someone seems to have found himself a bottle of alcohol. Here's where the magic happens. Light reflects off the green glass of the Commodore Red. The gods have been generous. Better pop it open before they change their minds. Wow, the gods of mass production have made this alcohol container laughably easy to open. A child could have done it. There's a satisfying pop as the cork jumps out, and the hair on your back rises like an army at attention. You've been here before. Welcome back, detective. You're home now. Nothing. Some mental stuff. Nothing to be worried about. Physically, you'll be strong as an ox. The golden sun melts down your throat. It's rays filling your nostrils with sunshine. Your stomach melts from it into a happy, gooey mess. So does your mind. All the bad things are melting. You're you again. A real cop. A real detective. Incredibly well done. From the void we came and to the void we must return. Alright, so just like that, we got 30 experience. We'll just go ahead and heal up real quick. That morale, so any problems there. And you'll see our physique has now been increased to 4. And that has now put us at like level 5 here for a lot of these. Now, one thing I I, I didn't really explain all that, that well or in, in uh, much depth, how this leveling up system works. Uh, so essentially when we were picking up our level, you know, not only were we picking what these would start at, We'd also were picking the maximum that they could be. So when you have the intellect at four, that means you can never get more than eight points in any of these. Because you see the four little diamonds on there? Mm -hmm. That means we can only put four points into that. And so starting at intellect four means none of these will be above eight. Starting at two here means none of these will be above four. Now, because we put our specialized, care, or our specialized skill, our signature skill, an authority... That also gave an extra point that we can invest in these. So we can get up to five in the psyche. So essentially, can't get beyond eight here, beyond four here, or beyond five here, beyond eight here, and beyond six here. So that's kind of like the way that that works. Uh, so the other thing to consider is that you can increase your your maximum uh, through the, the drugs and stuff. Uh, so you notice that because we just drank, we boosted the psyche. So now we could get these up to and eight, physique. or excuse me, yeah, the physique. And so now we could get these up to, to eight. So you can use the cigarettes, the alcohol, and, and drugs as well, uh, which I think like speed, interacts, uh, motor ricks, and I think there's something for psyche as well, but I'm not sure which one that one is. And so you can use those. Psychedelic. Yeah, perhaps, you'd think. Uh, and some shrooms. Mm -hmm, or something like that. So you can use those to go beyond what your maximum would be uh, if you have like a skill point waiting when you when you take them. So why would you not do all the drugs and drink the drinks? <laughs> yeah, it kind of rewards you in a way for doing it, but of course there's the fact that they all take your health and your your uh, yeah, your morale and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I did want to kind of briefly cover that. And so you carry a bottle around too. Oh yeah, well I, that's how you use it. In order to use anything, you have to have it on you. And so we'd have to like, that's what I was saying. I used to carry the cigarettes in my hands at all time so now that I could look like a hobo cop. Yeah. Now I definitely look like a hobo cop. So we can just go ahead and take it out. If we don't want it in there. And we have three uses left of it before the bottle's gone. But I think we'll, we'll go ahead and go in here and, and buy the cigarettes. Uh, if we have the money, 
I don't know. We can turn in the bottles that we have, which isn't much. I think we have a couple bucks on us and maybe a, not even a dollar worth of uh, bottles. So oh, we wow. might be too broke. Yeah, we might be too broke to get a pack of cigarettes. But I think it'd be worth it if we can so we can get the experience. Now, there are other ways to smoke. You know, asking people for a cigarette. There's also uh, finding cigarettes as well. So we could wait to do that. But I figured we'd show how you guys, how you turn in the, the bottles. It's right here. In this location here. The turn machine you just interact with it, insert your bottles. And we machine. got 60 cents, guys. What? So now we're at 2.95. deal. <laughs> in order to interact, uh, in order to buy anything here at the store, you do have to interact with it. So I think the cigarette trip there. This is the, the medicine, so you can always buy. I guess we'll click on it real quick. A small cabinet on the wall is filled with various medicine bottles, nasal sprays, and blister packs. They all bear the Saint Baptiste Pharmaceutics logo. Their logo is the bloodless rose, pure white, untouched by harm. Um, just ask me if you need anything from Saint Baptiste. We don't stock prescription meds, but we do have Nosafed, Duramine, Magnesium, and Hypnogamma. And so these are like the characters I find where the uh. Uh, the in increased voice acting really helps out. Because, like, with all these characters before, they would say, like, one line of their paragraph. And that's it. And now all the characters are voiced, and so they, they'll say their whole lines. You don't have to read any of it. Uh, so essentially what this this does here is you can buy one at a time. So I think I think these ones are for your health, and this one is for your morale. So it's 90 cents to buy one. Or you can, for two fifty, you can buy like a pack of them, and I don't know how much that gives you, but it's like a deal. Mm -hmm. I think it's probably three, and so you're saving like a little bit of of money, uh, not not much, it's maybe twenty cents or something like that is what you're saving here. Or is it one of those bargain packs that actually costs more? <laughs> I think it is a small bargain. If it's three, you're saving like twenty cents. Uh, so yeah, I mean it's, I guess it's helpful. Yeah, I guess that would be twenty cents, right? Yeah, twenty cents is what you'd be saving. Uh, so yeah, you could buy like a, a pack of them if you so desire. I think that's more not so much saving yourself money, but just so you don't have to click on it as often. Uh, so what I like to do is just kind of like stack up on those. Uh, but we're trying to buy cigarettes right now, so we can't do that. But uh, I like to stack up on them, so I always have plenty of health and morale, and thus it's never an issue. Uh, but we won't do that yet, because we're going to see if we can't purchase the cigarettes here. I think they're going to be too expensive, though. But they're up here at the top. That's where the alcohol is as well. A display of cigarettes and alcohol bottles line the shop wall, inviting you closer. There, in that dark green glass, all in vain. The great flowing river of warmth, wine, alcohol, beer, alcohol, love, alcohol. The beauty, the truth, the poetry of it all. I'm obliged to inform you that both alcohol and cigarettes damage your health, but I guess you already know that. Know this, you will never finish your alcohol quest if you don't buy beautiful alcohol. I well, love that he considers it a quest. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, you're never gonna succeed in your mission. Uh, but we've already succeeded in that mission. Uh, so we actually just have enough for cigarettes. They're 290, we have 295. So we're gonna be completely broke after buying wow. these, but it's worth it. There you go, mister. <laughs> uh, so let's go ahead and leave. And we'll wait to get outside to smoke our cigarettes, I suppose. I feel like it's a quest when you walk into a liquor store. All the it beautiful is, uh, bottles and interesting smells. <laughs> well, yeah, and even if you go in knowing what kind of liquor you want. Yeah. You know, let's say you know you're going to get a whiskey. There's so many choices. So yeah, many different I types of whiskey. try them all. Yeah, and there's so many good kinds of whiskey. So, it, it's, you know, it's determined by how much money you have. Uh, what you're planning on doing with it. You know, are you going to be drinking shots? Are you going to be drinking in a nice glass of whiskey? Or are you going to be, you know, making old fashions with it or some type of mixed drink? It kind of depends on what you're going for. straight for the tequila. <laughs> yeah, are you going for tequila? And then yeah, even with the tequila, what are you doing with the tequila? Because you could drink. I'm drinking it. Yeah, well, how? <laughs> what are you mixing it in? You know, because are you going to want a brown tequila or are you going to want a, a clear one? Depends on what you're mixing it with. Yes. <laughs> Just both. <laughs> we are drinkers, guys. We like to drink. It's harder to do nowadays, though. Yeah. Because we're old. So we feel like shit. always have to get up in the morning. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You always got something we got to do in the morning. 
We actually have increased health right now because of the uh, uh, because of the drinking. So mm-hmm. you can see how these kind of play into each other a little bit. It's, although the cigarettes won't give you extra morale. It could be a bad habit. Mm-hmm. So we have a lot of health to sacrifice here. So let's smoke them. There it is. A brave little army in your pocket. The first smoke's platoon. Twenty brave souls standing in salute. Ready to step into fire for you, sir. You picked the best one. This soldier is fat and succulent. What are you waiting for? Light up. Re-become yourself. Get a load of this rock and roll cop hair, people. Johnny Thundercop fishes a cheap lighter out of his pants. With a flick of the thumb, there's fire. A primal satisfaction. Here we go. Thick. Warm smoke gets sucked down into your lungs. Immediately, you feel a warm nostalgia fill your head, body, and soul. A nostalgia for yourself. The man you were in your youth. Johnny Thundercop is back, and he's chill as balls. So you gotta love electrochemistry. (laughs) (laughs) He's really bad for you. He's really bad for you and leads you to do horrible things, but he's pretty cool. Uh, so now our intellect is at five, and that increased all of our skills up here by one. And we got to level up. And we got to level up from that. That's the reason why we did that. Uh, so we have to figure out what we want to level up. Uh, so remember, all of these are being increased by one. I think our physique is still being increased right now as well. Uh, yeah, plus one. I don't know how long that lasts. I think it's several hours, though. Uh, so that's why you, I find myself like, again, I was carrying the cigarettes around like all the time, smoking them to keep my intellect up high throughout the game. Especially once money isn't so much of an issue, which I didn't have a lot of money troubles in this game. Uh, but I did pick up a lot of bottles. So uh, so what do we want to put our, our point into, Jinx? Shit, I don't know. I have a hard time choosing. It's tough. It is a tough decision. Uh, so let's just see here. We could go with the more physical. Well, I think we're... Kind of going with a uh, slightly more mental. So yeah, maybe go with an intellect one up here. Uh, Could also boost like our volition so we have a little bit more morale. Because right now our morale is pretty darn low. We don't really have a lot of points there to mess around with, guys. So it could also boost that up by one. Just so we don't have as many issues with the the morale. Uh, Because I don't really like where it's at. Yeah, I'm thinking either that one or maybe logic. Let's do this one for right now, just so we find ourselves, because what I like to do is I like to leave one spot, like, un, like unhealed, mm-hmm. and that does have a penalty. Uh, so, like, with your health down, you'll notice a negative one for the damage here. Our endurance is actually lower because our health was decreased. The same thing happens with volition. When you take damage, it it's, you know, your morale reduces oh, the volition. And so it does have a penalty. You suck worse at those things. However, you'll constantly find yourself getting uh, things in the game that increase your health and your, your morale. Uh, so like things that happen to make your morale increase. And it's free points. And so I find like it's worth taking the penalty to, to make use of the free points you get there. Uh, so let's go and talk to this little girl because I realize that we don't have the map yet. And the map is in the bookstore. Uh, so we're going to go get the map real quick before... I know we said we'd go talk to those other people, but I feel like we've already kind of gotten off track here in this episode with all of our smoking and drinking. <laughs> so I think we'll, we'll go ahead and do this one, and we'll have to go over to the other place next episode. Uh, so we're going to talk to her, a little girl outside the bookstore. Hello, sir. Step right in. The store is open. Are you interested in a new and exciting book? Books, postcards, easy. Even a kid would know all of this. Don't be a fool. As an expert, it's your duty to tell what you know to everyone. Sir, are you okay? You've been standing here silently for a while now. Okay, sir. I'll try to answer any questions you have. I hope they're about books. My name is Annette, sir. My mum... Her name is Plaisance. She owns the store. She's inside, minding the register, or organising the stock. Feel free to step in and browse our wares. I'm signalling that the store is open. Otherwise, people might not know. They'd miss out on the crime, romance and biographies of famous people. The 
Thank you, sir. I'm happy to help Mum out with the store. I do my studies at home at the moment. I have to help Mum keep this place running. Mum says it's necessary to do both because it builds character. Mum says a proper worker is dutiful. That's how you get ahead in life. You succeed. There is stress and unease behind these words. She's reciting etiquette. Mum says it's peachy. She was a little afraid at first. There's talk about this house being cursed. Cursed in the way that makes them say that no business has ever really thrived here, sir. That they all go... Exactly. But we've been doing fine so far. We can go into the bookstore and ask about the case. But I don't see much more to look into here. Yes. Please do also look at our wares inside. The postcards and board games are there, sir. Nothing really, sir. Mum doesn't allow me to sneak around in the back rooms or the cellar. I don't really know what's there. It does not manifest itself in any way. It does not exist. I liked it better when we were talking about whether it's appropriate to stand out in the freezing weather. Uh, anything else you wanted to talk about, sir? Maybe I can tell you about some of our books instead. Crime fiction is about murders or burglaries or things like that, and the work of a policeman or a private detective who's trying to solve a crime and catch the criminals. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, and it's kind of like a puzzle too. You can guess who the criminal is or how the good guys are going to catch him. You don't look much like a policeman. Didn't mean to offend, sir. Sorry, sir. It's just that you don't look like Dick Mullen. Head, yes. No, your resilience. Not head, child. Heads. Isn't that very dangerous? Unlike you, sir. He's just a fictional character. He's no match for you. Maybe you can show me some real police work, sir. Like in the books. The girl keeps her hands folded, hidden. Why is that? What do you mean, sir? She looks around anxiously. Her hands remain folded in front of her. She doesn't want to show them. The lieutenant stands by, looking at the two of you with little interest. She brings out her reddened hands, her nails frayed, nearly chewed down to the flesh. And you knew this from me keeping my hands folded? Well, that proves nothing. Anyone could do an easy deduction like that. You're quite sober. The lieutenant does not flinch at the comment. He does not flinch even a single bit. He is intensely not flinching. It takes effort. Because you usually aren't. I'm sorry, sir. I hope things get better soon. There she stands, swaying on her feet, assaulted by the early spring breeze. She smiles at you. The whole situation suddenly feels familiar. Somehow, there's something you're missing. It's the type of book where there's a rich lady and she has to choose between the good man and the bad man. Or there could be a story about a poor lady getting a rich man. It's about man and lady business, sir. It happens, but usually the guy gets rich in the process. Or should actually be rich himself, but has lost his family property unjustly, like during the revolution or something. Those are unhappy books, for most of the pages. People sad about what they have lost, but then it all turns out just fine in the end. These are not very common. You can't have a choice between bad and bad. Nobody wants to read a story like that. Well, maybe then it's fine. Maybe if the lady then decides not to pick either, because she doesn't need a bad man. Yes, that would be interesting. That's really not a proper romance story. That's more like everyday life. Not in romance books, sir. These are about nice and pretty people, and everyone is happy in the end. I haven't read many of those. Maybe you should ask Mum. I don't think it's a romance story if the main characters break up, though. 
Sometimes they break up for a little while, but then they always get back together. Maybe some of our other books? Oh, kings and queens and generals of old, or artists and writers, or musicians, those kinds of people. There's usually something extraordinary about them. I think that's why people read them, to find the secrets of their fame. Seems like most people who read those books fail to get more famous from reading them. But it does make the famous people more famous. Why would they do that, sir? That's so cool. Maybe they'll make you a book cover picture and everything. Standing over a dead body, holding a gun. Okay, so we went through all here, talked to your mouth all the different books. We have a suggestion. Uh, what are you missing here? Why does it feel? Why does this feel familiar? We would fail at this. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure we would. Oops, and I healed her health in accident. I really hate that the you can't move through anything in the game, whether it's the dialogue or the menus, with the stick. You mm -hmm. have to use the uh, the the D-pad, the directional pad. But unfortunately, the directional pad also heals you and heals your morale, <laughs> which you can do at any point, even in conversations. Uh, so, yeah, it's I really don't like it at all. I accidentally hit it all the time. Uh, so, kind of unfortunate. Uh, but, yeah, I don't think we're going to try this because we'd probably fail. And uh, just to tell you what it is, the reason why it feels familiar is because we have already met her. She knows us. We've talked to her many, many times. We just don't remember her. Uh, let's go and go into this bookstore here and yeah not digging the controls on console either just so much better on the pc overall i know i've said that a few times but <laughs> having played a bit more i realized that it is uh yeah it's not well done the best way i find to do it is to like select it rather than running over it to it but like select it and then just click x and have your character run over to it so basically the same as you do it on the pc when you're using the mouse then trying to run over to it and then select it, uh, because then your character still has to get to the, the special place for them to be able to interact with it. So in here, let's, let's see what this is real quick. Let's see. Yeah, you got to get over there, and then we got to hit it again. So you can see that we can interact with each of these tables here. Each table has a different type of book or board games and stuff, and we can go all the way up there and interact with all those. And you can buy the books and then read them on your spare time, and it progresses the time. You can also just sit on a bench to progress time. And uh, it you can learn things from the books as well, uh, so those can be kind of uh, important. Are books expensive? They can be, yeah. Yep. And... Depending on how much you dig into each of the shelves is how many items will be available. So there will always be one available for most of these that she'll suggest to you. Mm -hmm. But then if you dig into it and pass a skill check, then you will get a second one available. So it's a lot of different books you can get, and they do all different things and stuff. Uh, we won't go through all that because it will take forever. This is where the map is. I think we have to buy it, though. We don't have any money. Uh, we'll see how much it costs, so though. Poor. Several maps have been attached to a bulletin board hidden inside the alcove. They're held up by small pins. The board has come loose from one corner. The maps look old and faded. Your eye catches a map of Insulinda, a map of Revachol, and a map of Martinez. I'm sorry, officer. The map of Martinez is the only one available. The other two are not for sale anymore. And besides, you could scarcely afford them. They're quite valuable, though they might not look it. The map of Martinez is 90 cents, though. That old thing? It's an out-of-date map of a tourist location that never was nor came to be. From when some design studio people tried to spruce the place up four or five years ago, they also renovated the horse statue, set up those coin-operated viewers, and designed the new street lamps. The place does not look like a successful tourist trap, does it? They didn't get that far, for some reason. A shame the project never got going. Would be nice if someone fixed Martinez up. All these ruins are bad for business. So we could try and steal it. That's not a good chance of doing so, though. <laughs> uh, we don't have the 90 cents to buy it, unfortunately, so we'll have to wait to get it. But we do want to get the map eventually, just to, to have it. It's nice to have, have and the map. she's not annoying at all. Yeah, she's super annoying. Uh, now, there's two different things to do with her. One involving the little girl, and the other one involving those uh, curtains over there. The uh, curse. We're going to we're going to just deal with the little girl one for right now. Welcome to Crime, Romance and Biographies of Famous People. 
My name is Plaisance. Be welcome, and please take responsibility for the energy you bring into this space. I am the proudest owner of our little shop of culture. Annette, yes, my daughter. I hope she wasn't slacking off again with her nose in science fiction. Tell me, was she at her post doing her job like a proper girl? Wonderful. Did you talk to her? Great. On a scale of one to ten, how compelled were you to buy books after talking with her? My precious, her dedication brings joy to my heart. If you have children, I hope they turn out as great as my Annette. Mind your own business, sir. In our society, people don't get to tell each other how to raise their children. It's none of your or anyone's business. Denial is the way she copes with criticism. God, I've told her not to do that. It's disgusting. And I told you to mind your own business. Clearly, you have no idea how hard it is to raise a girl in this economy. She can, if she has enough willpower. This is what's called growing pains. Life isn't easy. Life doesn't give breaks. Come on, ma'am. It's obvious she can't do anything about it. You are placing an unnecessary burden on a young child. She's looking for one, but there simply aren't any good arguments for being an asshole. Oh no. Hold on. I need to invite her inside and apologize. She must be freezing out there. There. I don't know what to say to you. My husband, he tries to teach me business lessons. I have what my mother called a dull mind. All this stress. Yes, my husband is a successful entrepreneur east of the river. If only he were more involved in the business we're running up here. No matter, soon we'll both be off for Grand Courant. He made the initial investment. Since then, he's been what you might call a silent partner. Super silent. Almost inaudibly so. She's been too busy helping me here. So she studied at home this trimester. This is a temporary solution, of course. I assure you, I of all people understand the importance of education. She will be back in school the moment the store takes off. And hell freezes over? Never mind. It's not a good topic to get into. Okay. So we got her to bring her kid inside. And so let's talk to her real quick. I'm sorry, sir. I can't talk right now. I'm very busy with my homework. I have so much homework now. You just can't win. Out of the rain and into the gutter. Math. It's really difficult. Like, really. They say you need it to get rich. Better than standing outside in the cold, I guess. Oh, oh, I found something while you were away. I thought this would fit you. Like, thanks for helping out. Not me. The city, I mean. Like a detective does. Maybe. It's the hat Dick Mullen wears all the time. You'll look way more serious with that. Right, I have to get back to my homework now. Before Mum notices. Man, this is hard. You have absolutely no idea. Familiar? How? You must have forgotten something you heard again. Okay, so I tried. I tried talking to her. We'll put our hat on here a minute. We'll go outside real quick. Yeah, we brought her inside and we got the hat because we helped her out there. Uh, so that's, that's basically the quest there. We didn't lift the curse. We didn't work on the curse or anything yet. Yeah, that's a whole nother... I feel like that's, again, a whole nother can of worms to get into. That's probably videos worth of content. Really? Two to three videos. Oh, there's so much to that. Yeah. this You get to explore this whole, like, uh, this whole building. Oh. And there's a lot back there. Uh, so we're not going in there just yet. I thought it was just a curtained closet. Mm -mm. No, no. It actually goes into the rest of the building, which you might be able to go through this door uh, here to enter into the building as well. Uh, there's uh, quite a few things there. The curse is basically all the businesses here have failed, uh, and, and so they believe there's a curse here. And all those businesses are back here, and you can interact with, like, you know. Figure out what's going on. Yeah, and, um, you know, kind of figure out how you want to respond to her about the curse. And uh, it, it's an interesting quest line, but very different. You know, it's it's way off from our current 
mission has nothing to do with it so it'd be something to do a little bit later so easy to get like sidetracked yeah well like just today we were supposed to go over there and start messing with the the strikers (laughs) and instead we're over here smoking cigarettes drinking and going to the bookstore and stuff and that's the end of the episode (laughs) basically yeah so what we're gonna do here before we get off those put the hat on i feel like we should put that hat on gotta put the hat on gotta put the hat on dick mullins hat gives us a plus one encyclopedia because we're book smart so smart. And most importantly, we look more cop like. Looks so cool. So, yeah, this will give us a little plus one to encyclopedia, which means our encyclopedia is getting ridiculously powerful. Seven. So, so book smart. Yeah, we're going to be that know it all that everybody doesn't like. <laughs> Those are fun. <laughs> yeah. We're constantly piping in with information that nobody asked for, I suppose. Uh, so, yeah, we, we only have five cents, guys, so we have to save up 90 in order to get the, the map. Uh, so next episode, we'll come over here and talk to, to these guys. I know we said we'd do it this one, but it looks like it'll be the next one. Uh, but I hope you guys did enjoy this one. I feel like we did get a lot done. Now we got new clothes and leveled up a bit. And most importantly, completed two very, very important quests. Drinking and smoking. And so, we got a little girl out of the cold. We got a little girl out of the cold. Yeah, so some positives here, guys. Uh, so if you did enjoy today's episode, make sure you put a like on the video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. Do hope to see you guys on the next episode, and thanks for watching.